there's no way in hell you don't notice the difference between both conventions. I mean, like, I'm sorry, but from the get-go, calling their J.D. Vance, and you can, you might as well throw all the Republicans in there as well, weird, was the perfect, the was already, was just the perfect insult. Because I'm sorry, but you could put both the DNC and the RNC Watch them mute, no volume at all, and just notice that the Republicans are, yes, they're fucking weird. I'm sorry, but like, I noticed this D this DNC, no costumes. This is the party of drag people, okay? No fucking costumes, no fucking obscure weird shit, you know? The, 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 the RNC, you go look, everyone's wearing... Goofy hats, ridiculous colored suits, you know, uh, ridiculous beads over their neck with MAGA BS written on them, silly shirts that say, I'd rather be some foreign adversary than a Democrat, like, really anti-American shit. But what I noticed is that, like, the Democrats hijacked the American they just hijacked the, the fuck out of the USA, USA shit. They, masterfully. And without being weird or looking like flag sycophants, you know. I mean, they are weird. They are weird. Between the costumes, the, the air humping of the flag, which did happen, you know. The, the kissing of the flag. What the fuck is this, you know. The, the the habitual Bible thumping, you know, it was absolutely abnormal. It was a human. You know, it, it's wild because I I noticed what is the what was the DNC's central theme? Every speech was about unity. Trump's a crook. Kamala's been fighting. We all come from different backgrounds, but we're the same, you know. Let's let, let's not let the spoon fed, lead lead uh, lead the country. That was my favorite theme of the whole thing, you know. This is this is us against those that were spoon fed their whole life. That was in particular the Michelle Obama speech. You know, uh, emphasized on that. I thought that was masterful, but, I mean. Go look at, go look at the uh, highlights if you can, of the Republican National Convention. Though, everyone is dressed in a fucking costume. All they do is talk about the Bible, and then they demonize people. They're just weird and mean. It makes no sense. It's like, I, the. This is the best campaigning I've ever seen from the Democrats. I'm not even they get really popular progressives, people that have said progressive shit before to go and spread a popular message to garnish even more voters. The whole thing's about unity. The whole thing is about America, USA and the flag without dry humping the flag. It's incredible, you know. <laughs> It is incredible. So, yeah, that's my dog there. But, but it is true. I mean, think about it. You have a career in politics. You, you don't even have to be, a, you could be a politician, a diplomat, like the people at the national conventions. It's still, you're still showing up for a regular days of work. You know, this is just another event. You have to come, you show up in a suit. You're a professional. <laughs> Pirlo, basta. That's enough, stinky. Oh. Sorry, that's my dog. But what I was saying is, the people at the, at the at both national conventions are they're, they're politicians and they're diplomats. If you <laughs> think of goddamn, who the fuck keeps ringing?
Alright. Sorry about that, but now I'm back to the professionalism of both conventions. Yeah, it's... Alright, so when you see these national conventions, these are rooms full of politicians and diplomats, right? Like, I imagine in this field, the, the, the attire would be no different than finance. You know, it's a... It's a white collar job at the end of the day. Your attire is not supposed to be a fucking costume like the Republicans, you know. But a bunch of normal looking people at the Democratic National Convention dressed like the occupation that they prepare for or that they are, okay, showing support, pride, everything required for a politician to be. You know, basically for a politician to campaign, you know, it, d just the contrast of just the lack of seriousness and weirdness, you know, one convention, you got about a bunch of politicians and diplomats wearing suits. And then at the Republican convention, you had a bunch of politicians and diplomats wearing fucking costumes while simultaneously Bible thumping and being mean to immigrants. It's, it's incredible. It, it, it was just the contrast of who you want to lead the country. Do you want these people that look and sound serious and have an uplifting message? Or do you want these weirdos in costumes who tell you to do bad things to marginalized people while simultaneously trying to hit you over the head with the Bible. They're weird. They're mean. And I feel like if you can't tell the difference between both parties, listen, you're kind of a lost cause. I, I do not know what to tell you. Okay? The system has failed you if you think the Republicans are serious. Even at a glance, you can't tell they're serious. And while this briefing was somewhat ruined by the doorbell, no one getting it, my dog barking. Um, tonight is day four, so I'm definitely going to have something to say about that. Oh, I'm going to stream it tonight with the uh, Jack Neon Cannoli boys also. So, 